and for the curriculum is say that uh, for the here i am talking particularly about this but in all intake all intake that is out there the last two semesters are you have to do a dissertation so where you took up any uh, like project topic which it is not just any data analysis kind of project it requires some kind of novelty some essence of phd where you will have to bring out some method or some notion some proof some theorem from yourself the obviously there will be some advisor who will be guiding you through this process so it is a so for the last two semester it's a totally hands on project and the coursework is for the first two semesters okay and that is there in mtech in all in all the intake that you will see in every institute they will have a dissertation okay. okay now the, the fact is that i i will come to the name of the subjects or bit later now the fact is that why this dissertation is important this this dissertation is not there in ms it is optional if you want you can take it those who want to go for phd some of them take it but it is not there okay but here it is mandatory and there is a concept of advisor what is happening there there you are correct you will actually work on a real life data or real life project that is out there in the industry okay. here it, it is giving you a chance to collaborate with some industry okay. okay for example in iisc in my department uh, ge healthcare you all know about the company ge healthcare they actually provide a fellowship where they will complimentary you have to do a it, three months internship summer internship there and the project the dissertation that you will give the problem statement is actually will actually come from ge healthcare okay so you you can see the difference it is creating more job friendly right sure. for job so whenever say there are two persons one has done msc one has done mtech any company coming the company will always prefer the mtech guy and we have actually felt that me when when i was in iit kanpur companies came they were offering data science post they were offering data analysis post but we statistics people were not eligible for that first the companies hired from the cs department then they started hiring from us right. and then at that time i we we all felt that what is happening uh, they are cs is it that they know statistics better than us but now coming here we i can feel that we are restricted on just on the theoretical on pen and papers but making right. that pen and paper to a real life product that is where we are lagging okay so those who want to get into this kind of uh, data science line or in the product based company again if you want to get into a product based company then mtech will help you in a very much way and uh, uh, another good thing is that i um, mostly in msc you will not get any stipend i mean you will get stipend if you clear the inspire scholarship but in general mtech you will get an mhrt scholarship of 2400 every month okay okay now why is that because when i did msc or my friend shubhajit did msc that msc was not termed as a post graduate degree it was a something else okay right. it was neither a btech undergrad it was neither a post grad right. what is the issue because now the new education policy that uh, our government has given under that it has been stabilized because the fact is that post graduate is offered in the western countries we mostly follow western countries after 16 years of schooling now when you are doing msc you have 15 years of schooling plus 1 to 10 then 2 years high secondary 12 years then 3 years bsc so that is 15 years not 16 okay. so after msc most of the people who go out for phd in abroad also i mean some of the universities make them do an ms degree then they are allocated to the phd because we don't have 16 years of uh, education till graduation but for mtech people are coming for btech so 12 years of schooling then 4 years of btech so that is 16 years so there is there is one more information you can directly join phd after doing btech you don't have to do an mtech actually okay. so that's why in msc we are not given any kind of stipend because that is not an officially post graduate degree according to the iits right. or iis right all other degrees if you see bsms all those are post graduate because bsc is of four years btech is of four years but bsc is of three years so that is not coming under that 16 years of undergrad so this, this is one more issue so you may say that i am now currently actually having official uh, post graduate degree <laughs> Maybe she was something else. 
that is on there and for the course curriculum you will need numerical linear algebra the, some of the courses that have numerical methods like numerical methods comes under that numerical analysis thing newton raphson method uh, newton interpolation methods all those things and also again it would be specific to data science you will have courses regarding deep learning computer vision nlp reinforcement learning cloud computing parallel programming all those things courses are there i i haven't took all these courses but the courses are there curriculum are there you may want you can take it right yeah, right when when we are doing msc when we went to the cs department he said we want to take a course for no 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 you are from msc you will not be able. now since i am having an intake i can take actually courses from the cs department right okay so these things all are there so you can see now your horizon breadth wise you are very much superior than others because you now you can become a person who knows what p value is what box plot is what how to make a pie chart from that you can start and you can actually go till how to make a recommendation engine how to make a ai model how to make a chatbot how to make a reinforcement learning model how to make a deep learning computer vision image classification all those things so so i believe in say in your career you must look into a t shape bro okay why it is t this is like t right so this is you from the breadth and this is the depth okay so breadth and depth you must like have some trade off or balance equally with breadth and depth okay if you want to go for phd that means you are going to the depth for a particular notion particular topic you are going into the depth but when you are doing double masters of this kind of things you are covering the breadth also covering the depth so that will actually in the corporate sector particularly that will give you a, a chance to stay ahead most of the, most of the those things are and and it 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 gives also there are many statistics courses are there that i am doing okay uh, there are many statistics statistical inference course uh, data analysis and visualization course or oh, many courses are there yeah, and most importantly data structure and algorithm course so data structure and algorithm how to use array when to use linked list when to use tree when to use stack when to use queue all those things are there how to form an algorithm so what we do we mostly use pack packages right now the, here is another thing if you use package there are many online courses are there out there they are just telling you how to use package so anyone out there doing an online course learning how to use python or r then there is no difference from you and that person if you just use package but if yeah. you learn how to do this data structure thing you can learn how to code by yourself then you are two step ahead from those persons right and in the corporate world it requires these things how to stay ahead of others so that's why uh, i i particularly chose mtech yeah you can also thank choose mtech if you want to get into data science yes thank you thank you thank you for your explanation now uh, till now we get the essence of uh, mtech why do i need mtech what is the curriculum all these thing now let's come mm -hmm. to the uh, preparation part what is your strategy why, how did you prepare for thing and you were in job that time and how to prepare side along with your job or along with your msc how to prepare for job prepare for mtech and there are two part mainly for mtech mcq part then there are some interview part so give a sense of all these things ah oh, sure sure so uh, just to tell you about the exam the exam is uh, mcq but from last year they have introduced msq also okay which is the most dangerous part of any exam msq because now you are confused which of the four are correct is okay. all correct or now you have to check all but again like it's it's now more it has become more like jam because for msq there is no negative mark and for mcq one third negative mark is there and so you will get a get score which is different from your get marks okay and uh, uh, for any company i am sorry in any job or psc you want to get they will check 70% of your get score and 30% they will do their own evaluation it can be a one to one personal interview or a test written test or a written test plus interview it's up and to the particular institutes okay. for me it was originally it was a uh, 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 written test and an interview 
but due to covid that was scrapped off and we were selected only based on gate but now it is there so for gate preparation if you see the gate syllabus it is there in the website but i will again reiterate it has re real analysis all those convergence in the series sequence taylor series all those things are there it has uh, linear algebra matrix vector space eigen values uh, quadratic forms uh, bases uh, uh, linear span dependence and independence of vectors all those things are there uh, these two are very much important that you will also learn in jam also for your preparation in it jam and uh, any 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 you know, uh, in example for university any msc course you will have real analysis and linear algebra then it has probability starting from the classical definition of probability till distribution convergence uh, in log convergence in uh, uh, probability all those things it has statistical inference the whole syllabus of uh, uh, point estimation hypothesis testing elliptic test interval estimation all those things uh, it has stochastic process regression and multivariate analysis so these three things that is actually required in msc you will not learn these things in bsc stochastic process multivariate analysis for multivariate it will require hotelling p squares and all those things that we will learn in msc specifically and for regression also those things are there that we will learn in ms not in bsc so yeah so after hence as i said in the beginning that after if you do msc most of your preparation for gate will be done if you are going through the ms process okay now after that i uh, if you ask my personal experience uh, just a disclaimer is that don't go with how i particularly prepare because i see most of in interviews and other things in news channel people ask how have you prepared but there are a lot more factors because when i prepared i was living in gurgaon where i was living staying alone and uh, i don't have to do much of the household chores okay so then my preparation strategy was like after coming from office i i get the full evening time to prepare for my exam okay but it may happen that some of you may be staying in a joint family staying with your parents and there are lots of other works that you have to also do so if i say that i all only prepared for 3 years 3 hours a day so that may not be applicable for you okay. so judge upon how you are situated that way you can do your preparation okay that is one suggestion that i want to give so and for preparation strategy now for me there was no such previous year because i appeared for 2020 i had only one previous year 2019 and which is a very easy question if you say and if you see the 2020 question it was damn hard okay. damn difficult and for uh, so i prepared for i solved the jam papers previous year jam papers because you need to solve mcqs i also solved uh, you may be astonished i also solved ias iss paper 1 and paper 2 okay uh, i also appeared for iss in 2020 because just to give a timing exam of paper 1 and paper 2 okay and uh, yeah so those things just practice well practice all the mcq now you have three years of gate papers like 2019 2020 2021 and you have jam papers so practice those very well uh, the more you practice the more is better practice the jam uh, iss papers also specifically paper 2 that gives very good questions M msq questions on uh, statistical inference that they cover very much okay and also mm, the main part here is the probability and the inference part consisting these two there will be like 60% of the question comes from these two sections only so in probability and inference be as much fluent as you can and also in gate uh, 15 15 marks are from general studies or general english and for general uh, like aptitude kind of things uh, where you can use to, for that you can just use your 11 12 or 9 10 mathematics like all those uh, like all those maths on earth, like uh, <clears throat> the train and time those uh, flowing of a river and the boat is going those kind of maths those you prepare and some of the mensuration things like trapezoid uh, square those rules for those 15 marks you can try this in some english grammar all those things other from that this is the syllabus and so just prepare the previous year questions very much well and how much time to devote in a particular test that is upon you how you were situated how you are going on with your studies or in your job or with your family that way. so i i had the 
privilege to prepare in a very uh, very with full concentration because as i said i was living alone there was no such other works going on there there was a household maid who used to do all the cooking and all those things so there were no distraction for me so that privilege that i have and uh, where because and for the job also because at that time i have i was in uh, like notice period because i had left the job uh, very soon before giving the kid just prepare for it. so there was no pressure from because and you know like how people work at notice period right you you know this things, obviously so that yeah that i used so so just just prepare well with your chemistry syllabus and practice as much as mcq as you can because uh, there is no such uh, 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 now there is mcq hey, sorry msq otherwise it was full mcq so prepare mcq and nat also there where you have to just type uh, numerical answer type question yeah. that is also there but just prepare these things anything about anything to add about the interview part Oh. Okay. Yes, and for for the interview, the syllabus is different for different institute. I can tell you about mine. Uh, I see. So again, see here, people are coming from different discipline. Like they are hiring from uh, CS, ECE, EE, and for IIS course, they are hired from mechanical or all those things also. Okay. So the interview questions will be on probability, linear algebra, very very important for data science. You need linear algebra, probability. coding for coding i mean c coding okay uh, that would be like if statement while loop for loop and all those things looping and all those things they will not go into data structure and some of your domain knowledge so they may ask you from uh, 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 statistical inference also because you are from statistics for cs people they will may ask from dbms for mechanical people they will ask from some fluid dynamics on all those things so they will do and for the written exam syllabus is very clear real analysis linear algebra probability and coding and mathematics like different uh, calculus and differentiation integration all those things that would be there so and it it happens in february get happens result comes out at in say march or april and that around that time courses start from august and these exams will happen in june or july okay so you will get ample time to prepare for these things that's not an issue and for phd also syllabus is same mostly so they will mostly uh, for if you if you want to go for phd in statistics say iit kanpur iit bombay then they will ask very depth in statistics but if you want to go for this application based subjects reinforcement learning or other they will just test your linear algebra and probability knowledge that's it so i want to one thing add ask one thing that uh, in exam suppose what should be the my target like uh, i have to score as much as possible i, I have to attend question as much as possible what should be the target my like uh, is 70% answering and correct answering is enough or i have to attend all question what should be the mental strategy okay okay uh see whatever mcq exam you get whatever this national you get you will come out as thinking i have given all the answers correct there will be no negative But after seeing the paper, you will see there are some negative marks. There have to be some negative marks. No matter how sure you are, there will be some negative marks. Okay. So yeah. the idea is that so that that is one good question. But but for my time, I couldn't estimate this thing because for me, I only had one previous year paper, two thousand nineteen, which is a very easy paper. And there, the highest score was around uh, again for get get marks and get score are two different. Get marks. What I am saying, it is out of hundred how much you are getting, and get score is the normalized mark. So they take into account all those. It it kind of a percentile thing. Okay, get score that you will get. There is a uh, formula that goes on, and you can check that on the get website. So get marks was around eighty four in two thousand nine, and when I appeared for twenty twenty, when I came out, I was like, my exam was not that good because the paper was very hard. For 2020, as compared to 2019, okay. So my get marks was around 64. So 20 marks less from 2019. Right. Okay. okay. And the top, but my rank was two, and my get score was thousand. So you can think it, think of it as like hundred percent. And the person who got scored the highest mark, 
like rank one, he's also gets for rupee hundred thousand, and uh, he scored sixty four point six seven. Okay. So how much you want to sc- um, score? That I cannot infer because I don't have the statistics for two thousand twenty one. That what is the gate marks? I know the gate score. It would be around nine nine hundred plus all those things. But for gate marks, I don't know. But the idea should be any MCQ based exam you give. Try to answer as much as possible. Okay. But at the same time, try to don't think that okay, okay, there are say fifty questions. I have answered only thirty. Okay, I haven't answered twenty. Okay, let's just guess and try because the negative marking is a like is, that that will actually bring your rank down. So every negative answer you make, it will bring your rank. Down. Okay. So try to be such that you will answer thirty questions. Very good. But make sure that out of thirty, twenty-seven or twenty-eight are correct. Okay. Okay. So my notion was that there were syllabus that I covered the full syllabus. So that's up to you whether you are able to cover the full syllabus or not. But that was my agenda so that I don't leave any stones undone because you can think I have left the job already. Okay. So if I don't get it to get, I will have to again search for job or if I don't get a good get rank. So that's why I prepared for the full syllabus. Then. All the syllabus that were mentioned, I prepared for everything. There are no such thing. Okay, it may come for one mark. So okay, just leave that part. Focus on only probability and uh, inference. Oh, okay, from the uh, eigen value only one or two questions came came in two thousand nine. So maximum three months. Okay, I can leave those three months. So I didn't go for that. So I tried to co- cover all. Okay, but again the question was hard, so I couldn't answer all of them. But uh, one thing I can assure, I got sixty four and. I had uh, negative marking of only one, so try to minimize that. So right. that make make that optimization going on in your mind, minimizing negative mark such that maximum number of answers. This kind of optimization problem you can solve. Right. So. Now in exam, in exam, what is true? What should be the time management? Now when there is a Two hour of exam and there are lots of questions. So what should be my time management? And one more thing I want to ask that. Had you given any mock test before? Have you prepared for any mock test before that exam to get at that get accustomed to that time management thing? Yes, yes, yes. So, so that that's a funny story actually. Ah, uh, but first of all, it is a three hours exam. Okay, one eight. Sorry, sir. Get it. Okay. So again, as I said, I I I love to give MCQ kind of exam. That is my plus point actually. So just just a funny story to give you like from two thousand. uh 15 the iit jam turned into fully mcq okay so before that i didn't have any plan to go for iit jam because they were like proof descriptive based question now when it turned into mcq then i said okay now i can do good in iit jam okay so this was so i love to solve mcq questions but at the same time as i said i worked for two years in job and all those mcq how to solve mcq fast how to do calculation fast those things were Out of my hand, actually, and there are there is no get statistics, um, mock test center or those kind of things that is not there. So, as I mentioned, I happy I fill the form for ISS exam. Okay, so my mock test was the paper one and paper two for that ISS paper twenty twenty. So actually, I asked one of my friends that can I give only paper one and paper two? Well, she said no. You have to appear for the. general english and general studies if you right. don't appear for day one day two you will not be able to appear. so i appeared for day one didn't answer anything just sat for 6 hours then i appeared for day two and didn't appear for day three so that my mock test was that my iss paper one and paper two. so yeah and for time management time management i would say go through the question first there will be a 15 marks so that will come at the beginning that is part a part b part a is 15 marks of that uh, general studies general english and general aptitude finish that as early as possible within 10 minutes don't take more than 10 minutes there because general aptitude is common for all and those question are relatively easy those are not like cat level exam okay that general aptitude you have to solve a question for like 2 3 5 minutes for solve that within 10 minutes If you are seeing that it is not being solvable within ten minutes, leave that. Go into stats because all the rankings, all the things, all the competition is going on the stat part, which consists of eighty-five minutes. So don't give more than ten minutes to the general aptitude part, which consists of fifteen minutes. Come to the statistics part. Okay. 
and in statistics part, just go through it. Questions will be jumbled up. So it may happen you will get a real analysis question. After that, a stochastic process question. After that, a linear regression question. After that, again, a stochastic process question. So go through it. And you can see that uh, maybe more than two and a half minutes, you cannot keep to any question if you divide it equal. But there will be some question which you will just see and can answer. Okay, there will be some question like binomial NP, what is the mean of that? There will be four options. Those kind of questions you learn. So first, don't, if you get stick to stuck at any question, don't time waste time before that. So in the first one and a half hours or one hour 45 minutes, that's upon you, try to score as much as possible. Then in the last one hour or 55, 45 minutes, whatever, then all the questions that you got stuck on, try to solve those, giving time. So by doing that, there will be no mental pressure upon you that, okay, I haven't finished all those things because now you know that the question that you, in which you were actually familiar with, you can able to solve those, you have solved those. And assuming that you have solved those correctly. So you have actually a score of, uh, um, get marks out of 100, say a 40, 45, this kind of marks you already have. Now you try to enhance that to how can I from 45, how can I reach to 65 or 70, this kind of thing. That is where the ranking will differ. All the hard questions, how many hard questions you will be able to solve, that is where your ranking will differ, right? Because this kind of question, X plus binomial N comma P, what is the mean of X? Everyone will give it correct. Right. So just finish this as early as possible. You give, you give your, take, take your time to solve the hard question. Because one hard question you do correctly, your rank will jump up by say three, four ranks. Right. Right. Yeah. So that's why leave the hard part for the later part and solve those with peace of your mind. Because if you sort, try to solve those in, in the beginning, now you are seeing, looking at the clock. Okay, I have spent five minutes, six minutes behind it. Oh no, I have so many questions left to do. So don't do that. Leave this for the rest of your time. But now you can do more tests. It's very easy because you have three, four years of question. You can set your time upon you and just solve this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your explanation. Hopefully everything is cleared about the uh, about the gate. Now I will ask one more thing that uh, I know that you are in placement coordinator for ISC Bangalore and this year. So I want to ask that as a placement coordinator, what should be my role? Suppose you are in ISC Bangalore, that the, the brand works for you. But suppose uh, for a partner for an institute which are not that much branded. So for that particular institute, what should be the role of a uh, placement coordinator? How to approach the new companies? How to talk with them and who, who is the right person to talk okay okay because see whenever there, there should be a placement body if there is no placement uh, body like from the institute there would be a uh, here we call it okay office of uh, uh, i mean the last word is placement office of communication and those kind of things okay and in uh, uh, kanpur also we had a placement body placement right. cell we used to have. So that is important. If your institute or if your college has a placement body, then things become easier because whenever a company is coming or you are calling a company, there should be a host body from the institute because they won't talk to you directly, right? right. Because you are from a particular department, say statistics from CS department, some other student may be calling the company. So they will have a unified body with whom the company will talk to all those information, how the placement process works, how these things, this will do. And now uh, for the brand and non-brand thing, see, the, the thing is that for a non-branded, I, I won't use these kind of words because non-branded college of these things, I'm a bit against all these kind of, but right. I know it is there out there. Because the thing is that, see, when we say this, I, why IITs or IIS or ISI, why these are so much popular? First thing is they have a brand name, you are saying that is okay. But the main thing is the environment. Okay. Right. So whenever you step into an IIT, that the environment surrounding you, that will actually make you a bit, you know, uh, studious on a bit more job training. Okay. So that is not the name of the brand. If you are in some college, which has a good environment of studying, which has a good environment of collaboration. So that is as a good faculty. Okay. okay. Whether it doesn't get this kind of uh, subsidy or those kind of uh, donation from some alumni or thing, then that is also a good college. Okay. But 
at the same time you have to go out of your boundary that is what is iits iisc all these are many good because whenever we go into iits we have that opportunity to take courses from a diverse as i said now i am from statistics but now i am doing cs level courses so if you are in a college where you have these opportunities to do diverse level courses don't just stick into a curriculum if you have electives take electives from the outer department out of your statistics department because uh, apart from cgpa percentage the more diverse field you get the more hands on project you do the more you can get and for the companies now several companies especially for tcs amazon will also do that thing they are actually going in the they are actually going out from this placement placement hiring okay what they are doing they will conduct from the next year or i guess 2023 after this covid things goes up completely they will conduct all india level hackathons okay take part in those so hackathons so they will hackathons means you know they will give a data and you have to do a model okay or some machine learning model or deep learning model or statistical model then they will select few students they will do the interview they will give internship whichever college you are from they don't, they won't care about it they will give internship if you work well in the internship they will give you the pp okay goldman sachs is also going into that direction goldman sachs didn't come for our this yeah. so those things are there so always because see because when you are in this so called tr1 institutes you get this opportunities very well because in iits or iisc every week or every month some hackathon is going on from there is a coding club they are conducting hackathon there is some club they are conducting data analysis programming they are guys they are workshop and program so people get those opportunities so even if you are not from this there are many online hackathon platform hacker rank those things there is open coding platform geeks for geeks uh, hacker art all those things lead code practice code go out of your syllabus do some things that maybe other statistics students won't do okay so try to be out of the mass so that will then whether if you are a branded college so called or non branded college that won't matter if you have that hands on experience in your cv they only care about you okay. that's one one suggestion that i want to give so don't fall into this thing oh, we are from tier three college you don't get those things so no you you actually the person who took my interview the company that i got in she was actually from university of poland dmsc okay. statistics now she is a director in uh, mnc okay so how did she reach there because after that she did many things rather than just sticking with the syllabus do those things take part in hackathons because now in the later parts no one will look at the campus placement and all those things this hackathon the more hands on part you do that will be there. and for companies see for being iis or iit there is a positive part is that we can actually ac- have access to a large number of companies but there is also cons part generally the average salary is on the higher side so many companies actually refuse to come to us because they say no we cannot give that much of salary to the students okay so if you if you think like you are a relatively new college or uh, there is no such big alumni or big this kind of names in your college then you can there is many uh, ai related startup that are going on many startups are there i can i i won't name here but there are many ai related startups going on you can just approach them you can uh, make a brochure for your uh, department okay give that to your Uh, what would i say uh, circular that on linkedin get a linkedin premium account app, message all those recruiters message all those hr tell them that uh, we can meet over a call we have these good students now see we, you, in cv what you do you need to sell yourself you need to advertise for yourself so now when you are telling that we have good students they will look for this have the part taken part in in a hackathon have they done any kind of coding competition have they won any data analysis have they done in kaggle competition kaggle competition very very important so these things they will look at but if you say no no we have just done the course pro courses we have done courses on those things then they will not be very much interested okay so 
do those things and then if you approach the companies so that is a good thing is that many startups will be willing to actually hire from this uh, the non branded college that you are referring to because they know they don't have to pay that much in those part and if you get into that in that kind of college don't just stay there okay because okay now i have got a job life set because from from childhood we are given this kind of feedback right do secondary life set no 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 do high secondary uske baad life set set so but that will not be there even after getting to job learn this thing have right. coding and do this thing then that will that way you can do this and for particularly as a placement coordinator i am a departmental placement coordinator so i just have to call the companies that why well, have to showcase my department not iis another people the actual placement coordinators they do those thing we call them here placement officer uh, so we just need to show that they we have to competition data and we do this kind of courses again we have done this kind of projects this kind of hackathons we have two kegel competition winners we have two uh, kegel uh, 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 kegel grand master this kind of things we have that way we actually approach to the companies we have good students who have the knowledge of doing hands on project not theoretical knowledge so this is the main but if you want to go into corporate do hands on project only knowing that okay we can do mle or lsc in recreation one two take a big data set that is available in kegel available in the any any site just to do hands on project that's it. thank you thank you so much for your time and for your good explanation thanks a lot and hopefully it will okay and i yeah just two things one thing i can see a raise of hand i think uh, sanjeev on anything to ask yes and then please us we have a shortage of time we have only 2 minutes for for this meeting if you have any question then please us Hello. hello. Yes, yes. Question. Uh, if I start from hello, uh, I am audible. Yes, yes. Hello. Yes, yes you are audible. You can ask. Uh, okay, yes, in good example. If I start from legal type, wow. Uh, so this is right. You didn't get your question. So, Mala, did you get it? Yeah, I think you can just type it in the chat box also. I think that would be fast. Sanjeevan, please type your question in chat. Hello. Okay, and in the meantime, I think there was one more question that I got. Was that how is the salary? I mean, fee structure. So in IIS or IIT, fees will be fees will be very less. Okay, and uh, so and as I said, you are getting twelve thousand four hundred in every month. So after two years, you will actually get money. You will be profitable. Okay, right. And uh, fees is very nominal. I mean, in two years, you have to pay like thirty thousand or thirty five thousand. Okay. Shall I start from the NAT type? that that depends upon you see uh, because question will be jumbled up because in my time there were question from nat mcq msq was not there all mixed up okay so if you see a question and it is not like jam that mcq msq and nat are different section it will be jumbled up. if you see nat you can answer it just answer it. okay there is no issue to because here you have to actually search which are any there will be no other section so just do okay uh, one more question uh, Can I say? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if I not touch the general aptitude part, so this is a uh, uh, depend on marks. Yeah, yeah. Marks because general or... general aptitude is just where you can get free marks. So that fifteen uh, marks is actually like uh, if. You...